Hi guys, Corey here, and today we are playing West Grove. So this is a PlayStation 1 style found footage game where you play as a freelance video videographer uh, trying to sell, I guess, your footage to TV shows and movie makers and stuff like that. So that's about all I know about the game. So let's take a look and see what else it has for us. Starting operating system. Shiloh, you're not going to be any help. Yeah. Video calibration. Okay. Oop, camera box. It's empty. Okay. Backpack. I always carry a camping kit in my backpack. It's cheaper than a hotel. Technically not wrong. Magazine. <clears throat> Moving snapshots. Bring the video camera to your eye and press the button. That's all you have to do. Every spontaneous movement moment. A tweak nose or a cheeky expression can be caught forever on video. The days of rigid formality in front of a camera are gone. See it, shoot it. It's as simple as that. There is, however, nothing simple inside the VC3000. Got anything in my wardrobe? I need to start folding my clothes. My wardrobe was a mess. Oop. Apparently getting a phone call. On March 4th, 1985. Okay, let's see what this phone has. Hello? Hey, it's Jim. What's up? You've done the whisker of filming for me? Uh, no. Not that I know of. I think I just woke up, actually. Not yet, my camera broke. I just bought a new one. Okay. So that explains the box. The story can make us some good money, you know. Let me make you some good money. If you need to do the usual, get some crazy guy and pay him like five bucks so he can say he saw the Bigfoot, a flying saucer, whatever it is this time. I I wonder if um I wonder if people actually do that. Like new like small town news newscasters. If they go and pay people to say they saw something crazy like that. All right, I'm heading there now. As soon as I have all the footage, I will call you back. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye. Okay, well, let's go check her out. I need to change clothes and grab my backpack. Okay, well, let's get some clothes on. Change clothes. And I got my back. Let's go. Shiloh, really? Yawn. Shit, what is this place? How long did I sleep? The damn driver dropped me off in the industrial zone. I must be behind the town. The road looks empty. I don't think I'll be able to get a ride here. How, why, how do you fall asleep in a random person's... Oh, I guess it was the bus driver. So that's not that's not as bad. I thought it was like... An, well, we're in the 80s, so this wouldn't be an Uber, so... <laughs> oh, I could jump. Okay. This house looks suspicious over here, so let's check it out first. This factory looks abandoned. The graffiti on the door is creepy. What graffiti? Just, I mean, I guess it does look, it is a face. That's cool. Someone has talent. Oh, there's the entrance in the fence. Private property. <clears throat> no trespassing. Seems to have an entrance. Maybe I can go through the forest to get to town. Yeah, maybe we can make it to town. Woo, we're being attacked by the trees right now. I'm sorry. Is this just a random piece of fence right here? <laughs> With some people's clothes? A shorts. Not shorts. A shorts. I really don't want to know what happened here. A, a t-shirt. Really don't want to know what happened here. A t-shirt. Really don't know what happened. I mean, based on the clothing, you can tell that there was either one person wearing two shirts and one pair of shorts, or there was two people and one person was not wearing any pants. That was trippy. Uh, hello, Scarecrow. The Scarecrow is bizarre. Maybe there's a farm nearby that discarded it. I hope that's the reason why. I'm gonna start following me, are ya? Back this way. 
It's a wall. I guess it's a dead end. You know, I never, I, I never had a PlayStation One myself. The, the very first console I had was the Nintendo sixty four, and then from there I got the PlayStation Two. So, I was not lucky enough to see the games on the PlayStation One. Which I say see, I did play some, but I didn't have one myself. Sadly, it's getting dark. I better set up the camera. Tomorrow morning, I arrive in town to finish filming. I need to find some sticks to light the fire. I think I could find some further on. So we're just going to set up camp right here? Okay. I mean, it doesn't even look like it's dark, really. It's still daytime. Whatever, dude. Go find me some sticks. Oh. Uh, was I supposed to just go through that? Not seeing any sticks, my dude. Oh, there they are. It's just barbed wire fence. Here where it says keep out. You fucking scarecrow. I swear you were not there a second ago. Campfire. The giant ass slider. Now I can rest for a while. I'd better pack my things inside the tent. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna leave the backpack out there then. Is there something I can help you with? It's like it's already dark. Did you not just hear the... I just want to smoke smoke a cigarette and eat something. Where's my cigarette pack? Did you not hear the people whispering? I must have left it in my backpack. Okay. It's not here. It must have fallen out of my pocket at the bus stop. Shit, I can't concentrate without my cigarette. I think I can get my... I think I can get my flash. I can go there real quick. At least I'll use it for something. Okay, mister. So we're going to go all the way back. The way we just came, when it's it took us all day to get here, just to get you a cigarette. That seems like the biggest waste of time. Oh, I hear stuff breaking around me. Oh, birds. Yeah, it's going to be morning by the time we get back. Did I take a wrong a wrong way? I'm pretty sure this is the right this was the right way. How did that wall get here? Looks like it has some newspapers posted on it. Well, what do the newspapers say? <clears throat> April 6, 1932. Missing since December 14th, 1931. Seventeen year old student Ellen Baker disappeared three months ago. The police found her dress. Yesterday morning, without any rips or marks, which indicate that she took it off herself. Probably to do the nasty. Oh, no. That's frustrating. So, I know you can't see it, but there is a... Uh, there's supposed to be a little click here button to continue. And it just, it's not letting me do it again. Oh. I can just escape. Perfect. So maybe the game's not broken. Maybe I'm just dumb. <laughs> March 18th, 1932. Volunteer searchers find no trace of Thomas Lewis. Local Dairyfield police believe the man fled on account of some gambling debts. Thomas' family does not believe his ver this version. Okay. October 28, 1932. Distrust and fear spread through Dairyfield. That's cool. January 22, 1933. Several residents are moving out of Dairyfield. A debate ra rages at Town Hall to decide the town's future. There's a lot of shit going on in Dairyfield, I guess. 
Missing. Henry Simmons, 13 years old. Black hair, brown eyes. Missing. Illegible. Okay. Well, why don't we go, uh, I must have missed it. Damn, I'm starving. Better try to find my way back to camp and get some. Okay, dude. You should have just stayed at camp to begin with and not chased down your fucking cigarette. That is apparently nowhere to be found because we're out here in these haunted woods. A whole bunch of missing people. And you're probably going to be the next missing person if you keep this up, my dude. But I also haven't noticed that a scarecrow anymore. The path's different this time, too. At least I'm almost positive it is. Thank God I managed to find the camp. I hope my lunch is still in my backpack. Again, why did you not just take your backpack into... I don't need to enter the tent now. You're seeing some creepy shit happening and you're not going to go back in the tent and eat your lunch. Instead, we're going to sit right here, right in front of the campfire, and eat our lunch, I guess. How the hell do I eat my lunch? Oh, I got to put on bread. It's bread. I need to spread the peanut butter on it. Okay. This forest is kind of creepy at night. I think I might go a little further and do some filming for Jim. Okay. Let's go do some filming for Jim. Ooh, giant bush. Another giant bush. Lots of giant bushes. Oh, a house. Let me guess. We're going to go inside the house. Of course we are. Hello? Old newspaper. February 2nd, 1933. Town of Dairyfield. On the brink of bankruptcy. Bankruptcy. Illegible. Mayor Frank Barnes declined interview. So, this guy's choices make him deserve to die. Nothing interesting. Because he just, I mean, he turns back, sees that shit's changed, can't find the exit because he needed a cigarette, and thinks, oh, well, this is just a creepy forest. We're going to keep, keep exploring. Let's go do some other shit here. Oh, let's go record. Oh, there's just weird-ass house in the middle of the woods. Let's go inside of it and see what's in there. All right, Stan. Maybe this is useful. What? Oh, a hanger. There's a hanger inside of there. Door stuck. Maybe I can film something through the keyhole. It's hard to see anything. Dot dot dot. Door's a little cracked. I can see the hinge on this on that side too. Maybe I can unscrew it somehow. Oop. Okay. Well, let's find something to get through there. I guess. Oh, a strange wall. Okay. With a magic screwdriver and an old paper. She locked me here now because I managed to escape from the basement. I heard Ralph calling me, but it was a scarecrow. I think she can see through its eyes. I tried to find my way to the town, but the forest seems different every minute and the night never seems to end. I found the screwdriver behind the house. This is my only hope to get out of here alive. Okay, so the screw, no, not the screwdriver, but the, uh, oh, I can see it in my hand. The, um, scarecrows are just something creepy. I can't identify what, what that would be, but it will surely bring a lot of audience to Jim. Okay. Well, we got our screwdriver and our hanger that we might be using soon. Oh, why didn't you pick up the screwdriver? Oh, fuck. That was loud. Let everybody know that we're here, why don't we? Fuck, it's not working. Okay. Empty. Nothing interesting. 
February 26, 1933. <clears throat> this Sunday, the population rate of Dairyfield has been updated and is estimated to have dropped approximately 86% since 1932. Mayor Frank Barnes finally speaks out about the case and as a last resort, he reached a consensus to rename the town to of Dairyfield to West Grove and hopes to attract new terrorists and residents for this witch. Hello? Hello? Stuck, I can film something through the queue. I don't want it. That is loud. Let's go. Woo. I knew there was something in there, but I wasn't expecting it, and it got me good. Okay. Well, that nonsense is over, hopefully. Can we go home? Shit. Oh, right here, your sign. Go back to my camp, maybe? Oh, it's a cult! I can't go towards the cult. I gotta turn around and die. <laughs> West Grove. Spring Rabbit. That got me way too good and made me feel like there was someone actually behind me watching me. That's why I jerked my headset off. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that was um uh, that was West Group. Um that is by uh, Spring Rabbit. It's on Itchio. Um yeah, that was I I enjoyed it. Um, it was, it was short, um, but it, it was short to the point and it's loud. It's very loud. The jump scares are. So be ready for that if you play it yourself, but I will leave a link to the game in the description below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, please. And subscribe for more content like this. And I will see you on the next video.